Hello and welcome to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard. Thank you for joining us for another segment. In this segment, we're going to be having a conversation with Corey Lawson. He's joining us here from Accurate to talk about the fast-changing radiation therapy landscape and the new partnership that his company has with CRAD. Welcome to Health Professional Radio. Corey Lawson, thanks for taking the time. Yeah, thanks so much, Neil. I, I really appreciate you uh, inviting me onto the show today. Um, we've we've got some exciting things ahead of us with uh, the partnership that we have um, uh, instilled with CRAD uh, and uh, use of their Catalyst HD product. Well, give us a bit of your professional background and talk about your role at Accuray. Yeah, so my professional background, I've been in uh, the market now uh, for about 27 years. And uh I actually started out in uh, uh, nursing. I'm a registered nurse, RN. I still have that license today. And uh, basically uh, worked in uh, the ICU for a number of years. Found my way into industry a a few years later. Uh, Worked for uh, big companies, small companies. And now I've been associated with uh, Accuray for now uh, going on about 17 years. So I've been with the company quite some time and, you know, seen some some changes, most of which for the positive uh, and had the opportunity really uh, to help mold these products into what they are today, along with uh, myself and a talented team around me. You say you've been in this uh, in this radiation space for you know more than 20, 25 years. What types of changes uh, have you seen in your time, significant changes in this space? Yeah, there's been a lot of changes, actually. Um, Radiation delivery uh, at one point in time was um, not very exacting. And in the course of my time in this industry, we've seen things like intensity modulation, which is basically the ability to uh, differentiate dose uh, within the patient, providing very high dose uh, to the tumor areas and uh, conformally avoiding uh, normal uh, healthy tissue. And what this effectively does is reduce side effects and as well uh, provides the opportunity for a more tumorcidal dose or the ability to kill that cancerous tissue. I've also seen the ability uh, of imaging improvements over time. Uh, At one time, it was just uh, basic planar x-ray images that were guiding uh, treatments of the day. And today, when we look at the Radizac system with clear RT helical KVCT, what we see is is really a diagnostic-like imaging capability on this system. So every day just prior to treatment, you're able to acquire an image and see exactly where that target is on that day of treatment and set that patient up appropriately. Now, along with that, with that clear RT imaging, you're able to acquire really long fields if uh, the treatment is a long field and you can do it really, really quickly. Um, Clear RT allows for upwards of one meter uh, acquisition of an image in one minute. So being able to see your target and then deliver that dose very, very accurately and precisely as we can with the Radizac system. When I look back, you know, 20 years, uh, such technology didn't exist. And today, uh, I'm not going to say it's commonplace, uh, but it's becoming more commonplace than ever before. Is there still a wide variety of techniques and dosing needed for different tumors and where those tumors are located or have the developments made it almost a a one-stop deal where you can image no matter where that tumor is, whether it's breast cancer, lung cancer, or even in the brain? Well, there are different approaches uh, for the different regions of the body. And, you know, when when we look at at breast cancer, especially, uh, that's a little bit of a, a specialized treatment when it comes to radiation delivery. Uh, In that situation, you have younger patients typically, um, and what you want to do is really uh, a couple things. You want to reduce their exposure, again, to those normal healthy tissues from seeing any kind of high doses of radiation. Uh, And in doing so, um, typically for setting those patients up, you're not using an ionizing or an x-ray type of imaging system. 
for those types of patients, what you're using is a, a surface mapping technology. Um, and, and basically, uh, our, our partnership uh, with CRAD is in allowing us to interface to their optical imaging system for both setup and monitoring during delivery. And, and what this really means is because it's optical imaging, in, in effect, it's taking a topographic mapping of the patient. Uh, you're not ionizing, say, the opposite breast. And whenever you expose a patient to, uh, a young patient especially, to x-rays, there's always this potential for secondary cancers to develop later in life. Um, or in the case of, you know, treating the left breast, with left breast patients, uh, you want to make sure you're not irradiating the heart. Mm -hmm. And with those patients, again, uh, the catalyst uh, HD by CRAD uh, allows us to see when that patient takes a deep breath, holds that breath, then we go ahead and uh, their product tells our product it's okay to turn on the beam. And as we do, uh, that chest wall, because they're inhaled, uh, they're holding the breast tissue uh, distant from the heart. And that gives us uh, a little bit of extra extra room, I guess you'd say, or, or margin uh, that we, we uh, have that breast tissue away from the heart, therefore not providing radiation to the heart, mm -hmm. uh, which is better for the patient in the end. Fewer long-term side effects. That technique is called deep inspired breath hold. Mm -hmm. What about the cost effectiveness of the uh, Radizac system? Uh, Radizac system is a very cost effective modality for treating really any patient, breast, breast patients included. Um, what you see is, you know, you, you typically figure it out uh, by cost per patient. And this system is capable of treating uh, patients in, you know, anywhere from 10 to 15 minute time slots over the course of a day. Mm -hmm. You can treat a lot of patients effectively, whether they're um, r more routine cases or very, very complex cases. Uh, and that's your revenue generation side. And then, of course, the cost side is uh, very competitive to any other system out there. As far as uh, availability, um, when it comes to, to insurance and things of that nature, is this something that uh, insurance companies have jumped on board with immediately and completely, or is there still a transitionary period as to whether or not this is going to be available to most patients who can benefit? Um, insurance companies reimburse broadly uh, for this technology. Um, in effect, uh, doing deep inspired breath hold for breast patients is something that you see, you know, both Medicare and private insurance coverage for, uh, and radiation delivery in general, uh, for not only these breast patients, but other, uh, uh, types of treatments. Uh, they're all, uh, seeing effectively the same type of reimbursement across the board. Mm -hmm. And how AI driven is the Radizac system? Well, there's a number of algorithms that have been built over the years uh, that have uh, enabled AI or AI-like technology. Um, one of the, the features that we have on the Radizac system is called Synchrony. And Synchrony looks at a different type of motion, uh, a type of motion, let's just say, uh, that maybe uh, you know a prostate can move during treatment or even a, a liver case. Uh, in this type of situation, the patient on the day of treatment comes in, they get a brief image uh, which tells exactly where that target is or tumor is relative to their uh, phase of respiration. If the tumor moves with respiration, if it doesn't, uh, it basically uh, watches the target and we could say, you know, a, a, a tumor or a target that doesn't necessarily move with respiration may be a prostate treatment. Um, in that case, what it simply does is if it sees that tumor move, uh, it adjusts the delivery beam accordingly in the middle of the treatment. And that's been built with uh, a lot of training uh, from past patients over the course of many, many years. So in essence, uh, it, it 
does utilize uh, AI uh, in the product. Well, Corey, if you would give us a website where our listeners can learn more about your company and about the products that you're developing there and even more about this partnership with CRAD. Absolutely, Neil. Uh, a website to, to get more information is www.accuray.com. That's A-C-C-U-R-A-Y.com. Well, I appreciate you joining us here on the program and giving us this information. Thank you very much, and you have a great rest of the day, okay? Thanks so much, Neil. You as well. You've been listening to Health Professional Radio. I'm your host, Neil Howard, in conversation with Corey Lawson, Vice President of Product Strategy at Accuray. Audio copies of this program are available at hpr.fm and healthprofessionalradio.com.au. You can also subscribe to the podcast on iTunes, listen in, download at SoundCloud, and be sure and subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com, Health Professional Radio.